Hello everyone and welcome to our 13 days of Halloween segment. So today we're going to show you how to make a Mickey Mouse style fall wreath for your door. And it's perfect to get ready for the fall season. Um, and if you don't want to necessarily decorate for Halloween um, and you don't do like spooky decorations or anything, but you still want um, some kind of a fall type theme, you can do this project and it's really simple and easy and everything that I got was at the dollar store so uh, definitely something that's affordable um, and I think in total it may cost about ten dollars um, at the most so that's a really awesome deal so I went and got a door hanger um, for the house. Um, it's an orange door hanger. You'll see it um, whenever I show you the final product and see it hanging. Um, I got all of these items at the Dollar Tree. So um, they had these really neat um, wicker type or twine type um, small wreaths. So I got two of the small ones and one large one. Um, I also got some of these little fall foliage and I really like the little berries. They were really colorful and it kind of reminds me of like the Not So Scary Halloween Party and the whole colors that they use for that theme. Um, I also got another one of just fall leaves and I really love the colors. Uh, it just brings out the fall um, colors and really makes everything pop. Uh, I did get these little cattails. I thought they were really cute and a little fun element to add to the wreath. And then I got some of these really yellow um, flowers. I think they're marigolds, um, but I really love the colors of these. And I wanted to tie in just all the different fall colors. And you can do these with any type of color. So if you wanted to do a spring wreath or a winter wreath with just like blues and silvers and whites maybe. You can also do that too with this. Um, I'm just doing one for fall season because we have a Christmas one that we put up and it's the Nightmare Before Christmas wreath um, that we love so much. So we wanted to do a fall one uh, just in the autumn months. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and attach the um, smaller wreath to the large wreath and that creates the little uh, Mickey silhouette. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. And I went and got some little wire and you can purchase this um, at Walmart. You can purchase this at Hobby Lobby or even Michael's craft store. Um, and this is just simple like um, wire. You can also use floral wire too if you if you don't have this type of wire. Um, but any kind of wire will do to just attach um, the ears. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and attach these two together. And I kind of overlap them a little bit. And you can secure the wire with a dab of glue if you'd like, um, or you can just leave it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach the other side. Same thing. And there you have it, your ears are attached. And this is where you're gonna actually hang the, the ears. After looking at the ears, I decided that I wanna go ahead and add a secondary piece of wire just to make sure that the ears are secured on. 
Um, so we'll do one on the top and one on the bottom. Now that the ears are secured onto the main wreath, we're gonna go ahead and start to decorate this. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna add these little cattails to the wreath. So you want to keep this on. You do not want to uh, cut these little uh, things off. Usually with regular flowers, you, you cut them off and you definitely don't wanna do that. And then you definitely want to add some of the grass along with it. So you'll go ahead and cut the tail um, and you'll cut the grass as well. Okay, so now that I have them cut, I'm gonna go ahead and figure out where I want to place them. And then you're gonna go ahead and glue into place. And what I like to do is grab a couple of the grass pieces and put them like in a cluster. Now you're just gonna go ahead and start embellishing with all the different um, greenery. We're gonna go ahead and add a couple of flowers. And go ahead and snap the backs off of them if you have problem gluing them on. I like to keep these flowers, the, the leaves, to the flowers and you can deconstruct them, pull them off. Um, you can even cut them like I cut them across like this and then you got three extra little leaves that you can add it to Now I've got these little berries that I want to go ahead and add. And you can pop them off. And then you want to keep following it around until you get the desired look that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up 
the decorations that I want for this particular wreath and I'll show you the finished product when it's done. And that's the finished product of my wreath. I hope you guys like it. I think it came out wonderful. And it adds a cute little touch for fall. And letting your neighbors know you like Disney. So be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And stay tuned for more videos on our 13 days of Halloween. <laughs> Have a great day. And remember, it's a spooky day out there. Go out and enjoy it. Bye.